Her creations have been hailed as classics, where the delicateness and detail of traditional crafts have seamlessly merged with the simplicity of contemporary styles. This dynamic lady, internationally acclaimed as one of India's leading fashion designers, is none other than Miss Ritu Kumar. On my own, got involved in printing more than the weaving process. I don't know much about weaving. And uh, in embroideries, because I just happened to be in Bengal very fortuitously for myself, because it was very enriching, the whole experience of discovering areas which were miles and miles of districts where people had this wonderful skill of embroideries in their hands. And like everything else, they also had, you know, decayed, gone into misuse or not being used at all. There were people who were doing vegetable dyes, somebody was working on bandhanis, somebody was working on uh, weaves all over the country. So there were five or six very major schools of printing in this country. There were traditionally the Jaipur school, the Furukhabad school, the Machlipatnam. There were, you know, defined areas where printing used to be done. So I said that where are these blocks, where are these designs, where? Wherever I would see them, there were some hybrids of uh, English roses being printed by blocks. I mean, everything was really strange. There were polka dots being printed by hand blocks, and uh, I couldn't find where these wonderful designs were.
block makers were also the designers. I mean, they would put any of the designers today to shame. I mean, I really looked at what work that their generations had done, and it was a very humbling experience because I don't think I could have drawn two lines in exactly the way that they bring the same prints onto chiffons. And they started selling. And what was really good, I mean, now that I look back on it, is that it wasn't only a question of reviving old prints, but what really did it for us was the copies. Suddenly, everybody realized that this was a good, good thing to get onto. Now, no more daisies on embroidery, and they would not never wear it themselves because not that's not part of their culture, because there they wear you know cotton dhotis, and they were being given this work by weight. You know, the Marwari uh, community wears these Bantani saris for their weddings. They would wear the sari, give it to them, and wait when they were embroidered, and they would pay them by weight. And it's become really debased, the work.